So what the heck is going on here? So in terms of these vectors, if we think about these in 2D, if I've got those two vectors, I cannot write one in terms of the other. Right? So if I think of that vector right there, this is V1, this is V2, there's no way for me to write V1 in terms of V2 or vice versa, because they're basically going off in different directions. If on the other hand, suppose I have that for my V1, and that for my V2, Now it's possible for me to scale V2 so that it points along this direction of V1, right? So I can basically multiply by a negative number and stretch it out. And it's uh, going to allow me to write V2 in terms of V1. So this would be linear independent. And this would be linearly dependent. Okay, now we're going to look at an example in 3D. Suppose we have two vectors in 3D. Let's assume that they're linearly independent. If they're linearly independent, then if I look at the span of these two vectors, it's going to form a plane in three dimensions. Now, if I add, take any vector in that plane, I can write it as a linear combination of these two vectors. Now suppose I'm going to add a third vector, and I'm going to ask, is this new vector going to be linearly independent. If this new vector lies in the plane, that means I can write it in terms of, or as a linear combination of the previous two vector. And if I look at the span of these three vectors, it's not going to change from what I had before. It's going to basically be the same thing. I've not really added anything new to this set of vectors. If, however, this vector is just a little bit off, no matter how much, if it's off the plane, then the span of these three vectors is going to be all of three dimensions and they're going to be linearly independent.